Welcome back to the Aston MTB channel. Today we have a public service announcement and a big question. Should these common style Supreme frames be recalled? So I have to be very clear from the start, I don't want any confusion or people thinking I'm moaning or being negative. I think these common style Supreme downhill bikes are the best handling, best performing downhill bikes in the world. I've been very vocal about this for years, ever since I had the first one on test for pink bike, 29 inch version in 2019. Since then I bought full retail price, no deals, nothing from common style, this black and white Supreme. And more recently, I bought this Silver Supreme and because I thought it's such a good bike, I have invested a lot of my own money to try and make it even better or make it work better for me. We've got a custom linkage on this one and custom dropouts, plus I've built this whole bike because I think this is the best downhill bike you can buy, but there is a problem. This black and white Supreme is available to win on my competition website, which is how this whole channel is funded. This frame is cracked, but it's been replaced by Common Sal under warranty. I bought the bike full price. I contacted Common Sal, sent them pictures of the crack. Within six or seven hours, they'd agreed to give me a replacement frame, which has come in in a few weeks when the stock has been replenished. So this bike is available to win. I'm not trying to make an advert out of this. If anyone who's already bought a ticket and wants a refund, get in touch. I'll give you a refund, no problem. But there is a cracking issue. This one has been replaced under warranty with a brand new frame. The best bike I ever rode until now. It's been fully tuned. It's got NSR damping in the fork, race only coil springs, uh, O-chain, Kitsuma shock, upgraded brakes. It's got it all, fantastic bike. The lucky winner will receive a brand new frame and all these cool parts built into a beautiful, fantastic downhill bike. So as I just mentioned, this frame is cracked. This frame is also cracked. I put a few posts on social media and YouTube about the cracks on this bike. And I was really surprised how many people have been in contact with me. At least 20 people have contacted me with cracked Supreme frames. At least five of them saw my posts or my video, went to check their frame and then discovered a crack. So let's check out where the cracks are, how to find them. And please go and check your frames before you ride it again. They could be dangerous. Again, just to be clear, I've got no problems with these bikes. I'm not being negative. I'm not moaning. I just want anyone who's got one to be safe. If a frame fails, it could be really bad. A few people that have already contacted me who had a big failure were okay, luckily, but pff, anything could happen if your frame fails. You could ride off a cliff. You could crash into a tree. All sorts of things could happen. So let's get to where the problems are. There's been a lot of iterations of these frames and there's a lot of slight differences. So the least common, but it seems to apply to all the frames or any frame, is in this area here. This one's okay, but some of these crack around this area. I think if it starts to crack there, it's not super dangerous, but if it goes unchecked, it could get worse and worse and eventually fail in conjunction with some cracked under the head tube here. This one's also fine. So yeah, check here and here on your frame. The Silver Supreme does have a tiny crack in that area. It's not really visible. And over a few rides, it doesn't seem to be getting worse, but we're checking the bikes every time we ride them. Even every run, we've been checking the cracks. The most common problem, which seems to apply to all the frames, whichever model or wheel size or whichever, this BB forging, they start to crack on top of the BB forging and start to split. This one has got some small cracks, which is why we are being given the warranty frame. This is the most common and probably the most dangerous. It's the most dangerous because the shock and all the linkage are covering this area and you get a lot of dirt in there. So if you're riding the bike day after day, you're probably not checking under the shock link, under the shock, taking the shock out to check if it's cracked or it might be covered in dirt, grime, you might not see it. But this is definitely the most common area. Again, it's not that serious. This is not really serious. On the other frame, we've been following the progress of the cracks and they're getting slightly bigger and not very quickly. But it is serious if it goes unchecked and gets bigger and bigger, which will eventually lead to a catastrophic failure, which we've seen four or five of now. The first one I saw was in Morzine last year, a guy carrying his bike. 
Luckily, he was completely okay, but he was pretty beaten up. And he was walking back two hours to Chatel carrying his bike. Completely snapped in half, and he did it, landing a bloody big jump, the big hip jump on the top of Super Morsium. Could have been really bad. Luckily, he was okay. So, if you've got one of these frames, seems to apply to any model, get your shock out, give this area a good clean, have a look. You're probably going to find some hairline cracks on the... Not probably. I think you might find some hairline cracks on the BB forging and or around the weld where this seat tube is welded to the BB forging. Ironically, next to the ISO 4210 safety standards sticker. <laughs> they also seem to start cracking around these welds on the front and the back and sometimes around here. Yeah, the problem is if you leave it and they get bigger and bigger, then you can have a catastrophic failure and your bike's gonna completely collapse. This black and white Supreme is the latest 2021 model mullet version. This one has a different swing arm, an all different design, different forgings. I haven't seen any problems with those, but still worth a check just for safety. And what I have seen a lot of on these older version frames, older style swing arm, lots of cracks around this area. So we're looking at the inside left of the chain stay around this big, strangely shaped hole. Drive side, you've just got one drill hole. This side, it's got this elongated hole. I don't know why, why or what it's for. The cracks seem to start right at the top of this hole each time. And I think, again, I'm not a bike engineer. I'm just saying what I've seen and been told. The pressure is gonna go from here and into this small point here and create a pressure point where the frame will start to crack. I've seen about 10 in this area, so yeah, the second most common problem. So this frame is a 2019. This is your older model frame. This has got all the three cracks. We've got the head tube crack. We've got the BB forging starting to split, which we got welded over. And inside of the chain stay on the left-hand side was also cracked. Before anyone says it, this bike has got a custom link, custom dropouts, but these cracks were all before I modified the frame. So we can't blame my modifications for causing the cracks, just to be clear. Yeah, I bought it, I bought it, it was cracked. When we bought it, the guy had no idea it was cracked. And it was only when we stripped the lacquer and the paint off, stripped it down, gave it a good clean, then we found the cracks. So I did go and get this frame welded by the guy that welds MD bikes and Ancelotti bikes. It's an aluminium frame. You should not weld an aluminium frame without getting heat treated. I'm taking a risk here. I'm testing these bikes. I want the bike to keep working because I've invested so much money in it. You shouldn't ride a re-welded aluminium frame. So if anyone's thinking of copying me, well, don't or get advice from an expert. I'm not an aluminium welding materials expert. So what seems to be the common consensus is if you weld alloy, it then makes the material I'm not sure, softer or more brittle. Then it needs to be heat treated to give it the correct strength and structure of the metal. Again, not a welding expert, not a heat treating expert. This is what I think. And get your own advice if you're gonna try and repair the frame. My advice would be, don't try to repair it. So I picked up this swing arm on the Pink Bike Buy and Sell, brand new, warranty replacement, the guy was selling it. So yeah, if you do have a cracked swing arm or cracked front end, and you can't get a warranty because your bike is out of warranty or you bought it used, you might be able to find a replacement part somewhere, which is what I've done. And this swing arm is gonna go onto this frame at some point. Now this model is four years old. And another problem with aluminium is, as it gets older, it gets more brittle and more likely to crack or break. So yeah, this, this bike's now four years old and there's a lot of these bikes on the second-hand market. So this might be why I've had so many people contact me with broken frames, because now they're very common, they're getting older, the cracks are starting to appear over a few years of riding. People with new bikes in general, I'm gonna say are more careful checking it, they might spot the problem, get a warranty replacement. I think some people that should take more care and check the frames are younger kids buying used bikes. They might buy one of these used on the buy and sell, and then be like, battering 30 laps of A-line every day and not checking the frame, or doing seasons in Morzine in the Port de Soleil in the summer, just battering the bike every day, probably having a few beers afterwards, 
forgetting to check the frame. So if you're one of those kind of riders, you've got a used frame or an old frame, again, please check it. This is only for your safety, I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. Yeah, common problem, could be dangerous. We should also point out, it's not all the frames that are cracking. It appears to be a lot of them. For example, Ben's friend has got a, same as this one, he's been ragging it, he's bottomed out loads, he's done loads of days riding on it. He's checked his and has had no problems. I've done, I think, 15 days on this one, not really riding that hard, and it has started to develop cracks. So it could depend on a lot of factors, your weight, your riding style, your bike setup. But please, just check it. <laughs> check it before you ride it. So that's the end of the public service announcement. Again, not trying to be negative, anything like that. This is just what's happened to my bikes, plus the great community we're building from people getting in touch with me, telling me they've had the same problem. Some people saying they've got a friend who's had four or five replacements. It seems like Common Cell's customer service is great. Most of the frames getting replaced quickly with no problems, but it does seem to be a big percentage of them cracking, which takes me on to this Lapierre press release. Last week on Pinkbike and some other websites, there's a Lapierre bike recall for aluminium, zesty, AM, and spicy frames due to deforming down tubes. It's very rare that a bike gets recalled. I actually can't remember any other ones ever getting recalled, but Lapierre have done a voluntary recall of their bikes. So if you have one of these Lapierres, you can voluntarily take your bike back to the shop. I guess they'll give you a refund or a different bike. This press release says they had 16 frames fail which accounts for 0.5% of production, which in my maths is 0.5% of 3,200 is 16. So about 3,200 frames produced, 16 deformed, deformed, whatever that means, deformed in half, deformed into two pieces. <laughs> and the press release says, do not use these bikes anymore. So Lapierre have made 3,200 of these frames. I think, and they've had 16 failures and they would have known about all the failures because they would have got all the feedback from their shops and their customers. I've got 10,000 followers on Instagram, 2,000 something on YouTube, so I'm a tiny, tiny platform. And out of those 10,000 followers on Instagram, I can't imagine that more than 100 people have got Common Style Supremes, let's say 100 maximum, could be more, could be less. And out of those possible 100 people that have one of these frames, I've had over 20 people message me with cracked frame problems. So my question is, and what we want to know from Commonsal, and if they can tell us and tell our followers, how many have cracked out of how many have been sold? If it's more than 0.5%, should they be recalled? Because Lapierre have done a recall because it's not safe. I'm not saying they should be recalled. Again, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus. I don't want to get sued. These seem like some simple facts and a simple question to ask. Should Commonsal recall these bikes and recommend to people to do not use them the same as the Lapierre press release. So today, Wednesday the 15th of June, I have emailed Commonsal and asked how many they've sold and how many have been replaced or cracked under warranty. I assume not, they're not gonna reply, which is fair, that's private information, but I've asked the question, I've told them I've got two breakages, I've told them about my followers' reports, let's see if Commonsal get back to us and again, report that to you in the future. And again, let me know in the comments, go in the comments down below, get on the Instagram page. If you've got a frame that's cracked, get in touch, get in touch with Common Sal, check your bike, make sure it's safe. This is just what I think. You let me know what you think in the comments and we'll let the public decide and see what the public think. That's it, my first public service announcement. Hopefully we won't have to do any more of these and we'll just have fantastic performing bikes like these that in the future don't crack. Common Sal do have their new V5 version of this bike, completely redesigned, and I'm gonna try and get one as soon as they're available and test it. Hopefully it'll be an even better version of this bike without the cracking problems, we'll see. Final update. We filmed this video on Wednesday, and straight afterwards I sent Common Sal an email. 15th of June, 11.35 CET to the customer service email. Here's the email that I sent to them. Commonsal replied perfectly to all my previous warranty issues and customer service issues with the bike. And also other people who have contacted me with problems have always said Commonsal have been really good, really on the ball with replying straight away. With this black and white Supreme, they're really on the ball with the emails. 
and within half a day we'd agreed on the warranty replacement exchange easy today is friday the 17th of june at five o'clock cet we haven't received any response from common cell yet maybe we could have waited longer for a response but bike park season is underway there's gonna be loads of people riding this weekend and over the next few weeks in the northern hemisphere people are going to races all the bike parks in the alps are opening I guess all bike parks in America are also opening. I just don't want anyone to get injured or worse. So I feel like it's my duty to give this information as soon as possible to you guys, just so people can check the frames and be safe. And within the time we've been waiting for an email response, I've had four more people contact me with broken Supreme frames. So it does seem like it's happening to a lot of people all around the world. If we do hear back from Common Sal, we'll let you know. If not, go and check your bike before you ride it. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> So yeah, this is what I'm here for. We just want to hashtag build bike better. We want better bikes, safer bikes, more reliable bikes. We want people to have more fun on their bikes. That's all I'm here for. I'm not moaning, I'm not being negative. Just trying to give people the information they deserve. If you like it, you can go to the coffee or Linktree links in the description and make a donation or what I would prefer, go to my competition site and buy some tickets to win some great products. Even if it's something you don't really want to win, Go and buy some tickets, support the cause, and you might be lucky and get yourself a little prize. And even if you don't want it, give it away to your friend, give it to your kids, whichever. That's it. See you next time. I'm quite interested to see what feedback we get from the public and from Common Cell. Let's see what happens and we'll update you in the future.